Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss the concept of the definitions of the various important terms which to be used under the Income Tax Act. Let me discuss the definitions of various terms one by one here. Here, there is an important term that is income as per section 2 subsection 24. Here, under the, the Income Tax Act, the income tax is to be charged on the incomes of a person. You know very well here, the income tax, it is a kind of tax is to be charged on a person on his income that's why here the income income the term having the more important in the the income tax act and here there is no specific definition for the the income but the section 2 subsection 24 giving the some general definition as well as some of the hints with connection to the the incomes and as per the section 2 subsection 24 some of the items is to be included in term of income the income means there are some items to be considered as a income as per income tax act 1961 here <coughs> what are those here the first one the profits and gains Whatever the profit is to be earned by the person, an individual or HUF or a partnership firm or the any company or it may be from the profession, it should be called as income. Then dividend, any dividend is to be received and here voluntary contribution received by the trust, any the individual contribution received by the, the trust, value of any perquisite it means any the additional benefit or profit lieu of salary any special allowances or benefit granted to an assessee to meet his expenses wholly necessarily and exclusively for the performance of his duty here <coughs> in addition to the the salary if that person is to be receiving any special allowances or financial benefit granted to an associate to a particular person to meet his expenses whatever the expenditure is to be incurred where for example transportations or what do you call the accommodations for the purpose of the accommodations these are the, the different allowances is to be given by the employer to the employee all these things is to be considered as income the value of any benefit or perquisite obtained by any representative of assessors, the compensations, whatever the compensation is to be there, then income derived by a trade or a profession or similar institutions, institutions from specific services. If any income is to be derived or income is to be generated by a trade or profession or similar institutions from specific services if you are providing some services on that services if you are generating any income if the income is to be generated or whatever the the amount of money is to be generated that should be called as the income then profits on sale of license granted under the imports order under 1956 sorry 1955 under section 28 3a this is the these are the some items then continuingly cash assistance received by any person against export under any scheme of the government of india under section 28 3b then any duty of customs or excise repaid as a drawback to any person against export under section 28 3rd c then the value of any non-monetary benefit or perquisite arising from business. Here, in addition to the 
the monetary benefit if additional non monetary benefit is to be raised from the business or profession that should be considered as income then any salary bonus commission and interest or remuneration received by a partner from a firm if suppose here you are the <coughs> partner of a particular partnership firm any salary or bonus commission any interest on capital or remuneration received by a partner for his the active participations that should be called as income then any sum received any amount received for not carrying out any activity in relation to any business or not to share any know how patent copyright trademark etc then deemed profit under section 41 to 59 that is bad debts recovered previously allowed as deductions if you are treating this amount is to bad debt and here it should be recovered during the year that should be called as the income then whatever the capital gain it may be short term or the long term capital gain it should be treated as income then profit and gains of business of banking any profit or income or gains of business of banking in which it providing credit facilities carried on by a cooperative society with its members then any winning from lotteries what do you call income from other sources here the races horse race crossword puzzles card games and other games betting gambling etc and here the profit and gains of any business of insurance carried on by an insurance company or cooperative society if any the profit or gains from the insurance company or cooperative society is to be treated as income then any sum of money any amount of money movable or immovable property by way of gift if you are received a gift in the form of movable or immovable property is to be treated as the income these are the the different items which is to be considered as income as per section 2 sub section 24 under the income tax act 1961 there is an important term here in the following are the whatever the what i discussed with you these are the, the different items is to be considered for the uh, for consideration of the income then the next concept is to be the agriculture income section 10 sub section 1 it should be as per the section 10 sub section 1 it should be the exemption from tax you know very well the agriculture income is to be totally the exempted from tax and here according to section 2 sub section 1a agriculture income includes the following you know very well here for calculation of or the for de determining the the tax liability you have to consider some activities is to be uh, you have to be consider some items or some income is to be treated as non agriculture income in a certain cases that's why it is necessary to understand what is the particular the meaning to the the agriculture income here the agriculture income any rent or revenue derived from land which is situated in india and is used for agriculture purpose see any rent or revenue andre yavde rithadanta baadige irabodu athwa aadaya irabodu which is to be derived from land bhoomi anda bartakkanta baadige irabodu athwa aadaya irabodu which is situated in india it should be situated the condition is to be there the land must be situated in india only and is used for agriculture whatever the land you are taken on lease basis it should be used for agriculture purpose only 
then second one any income derived from land by agriculture agricultural operations if you are doing the agricultural activities and from that land if you are generating any income that should be called as agriculture income then any process ordinarily employed to the uh, render the produce fit for the market whatever the the you are producing the particular goods which is to be fit for the market that should be called as agriculture income the sale of such produce it should be sale sellable product whatever you are producing that should be saleable one this is the next one and any income from a farmer if we, any income is to be generated from farmers is to be treated as agriculture income and here the agriculture you know very well any income is to be derived by cultivating the land it is to be called as agriculture income and here some of the agriculture income is to be used sorry example for the agricultural income the first one income from land leased for grazing of animals required for agricultural operations then income from processing tobacco leaves here if you are uh, grazing or the particularly if you are whatever the the processing if you are generating any income from processing of tobacco leaves is to be called as agricultural income income from sale of tobacco leaves if you are selling the tobacco leaves whatever the income is to be generated that should be called as agricultural income then rent received in kind from land let out for agriculture purpose yes any rent received in kind from land you are giving the land on lease basis and the purpose should be agriculture only agriculture purpose only whatever the rent is to be received that should be called as agriculture income then sale of replanted trees share of profit and interest on capital received by a partner from firm engaged in agriculture activities see here. any profit or interest on capital received by the partner from firm that may be partnership firm engaged in agricultural activities that partnership firm must be engaged in agricultural activities this is the condition and whatever the income is to be raised and the profit is to be given to the, the particular the partners that should be called as agricultural income then any compensation received from an insurance company from damage to crop if suppose here any compensation is to be received from the insurance company for the purpose of damage of the the crop that should be called as agricultural income then uh income from growing and sale of flowers and creepers here if we are growing the flowers and if we sell they should be treated as agricultural income then let me discussion what are the example for non agriculture income here income from sale of forest trees of spontaneous growth income from market if you are generating the income from the particular the market is the non agriculture income money earned by supply of water for irrigation purpose if you are supplying a water to the another the farmer if any money is to be earned by supply of water for irrigation purpose it is not be treated as agriculture income then income from sale of quarries income from mining if you are doing doing mining business the mining is not to be treated as agriculture income the income from fisheries 
fishery business is not a income for, it is not a agriculture income then income from sale of earth for brick making if you are making the bricks and if you are sold it any income is to be generated from that brick making is not to be treated as agriculture income then remuneration received by a manager of an agricultural farm if if you are appointed one person is to be called as manager if he is to be receiving any remuneration from agriculture farm is not to be treated as agriculture income then any dividend received from a company engaged in agriculture if suppose that company is to be engaged in the agriculture activities if any dividend you are received it is not to be treated as the agriculture income next any profit on purchase of stand, standing crop suppose you are already the standing crop is there if you are purchasing that particular the crop and you are gaining the profit that profit is not to be treated as non uh, not to be treated as agricultural income then income from processing green tea leaves suppose here the processing of the green tea leaves the any income is to be generated is not to be treated as agriculture income then interest on arrears of rent from agriculture land if suppose here if you are receiving the interest on arrears of rent that interest on arrears of rent is not to, to be treated as an agriculture income then income from income of salt made by flooding the land with sea water if you are making the salt by flooding the land with sea water is not to be treated as the agriculture income these are the different examples for ag agriculture income as well as non agriculture income this is the definition of income as well as non agriculture income in addition to this one here some of the the partial agriculture income and partially non agriculture income is to be there here agriculture products raised and used as a raw materials in own business then coffee grown and cured coffee grown cured roasted and grounded tea grown and manufactured these are the some of the the items which is to be considered as a partly agriculture income and partly non agriculture income here because here uh, some of the items like centrifugal latex or senex grown and manufactured rubber plant for example rubber plant coffee these are the some of the items is to be considered as the partly agriculture as well as partly non agriculture items this is the these are the definitions for income as well as agriculture income thank you thank you all